This byte wing radiograph uh, shows uh, uh, generalized uh, uh, horizontal bone loss uh, in a patient suffering from periodontitis. Of course, there are uh, uh, several carious lesions uh, in the upper second uh, distal surface of the upper second premolar and the distal surface of the uh, lower second molar. However, the mesial surface of the uh, third molar, lower third molar, uh, seems to be intact. What I want you to look at is this uh, uh, radiolucency, which is located just beneath the uh, dentino enamel junction of the distal surface of the lower second premolar. You can see that there is a uh, radiolucency which is not very clear in shape. Uh, it's like a punched out uh, radiolucency located at the continuity of the root surface. This is what we call root caries. In order to have root caries, root caries by the way affects the cementum. One, two, it has, there should be bone loss. In other words, the cementum or the root surface should be exposed to the oral cavity so that it will be uh, affected by the different factors that might cause caries. Three, the root, root caries uh, uh, always assumes this punched out uh, uh, appearance. It doesn't, it doesn't have the appearance. It's more or less uh, similar to the appearance of the dentine uh, cavity. Uh, always the uh, like a U-shaped, uh, more rounded than the dentine cavity though, and the uh, base uh, is always towards the uh, pulp. Uh, 